Hello, and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today's Dare to Share is how to peel a pomegranate. For those of you who love the pomegranate fruit, um, this fruit is so delicious. Um, it is filled with tens of arrows, and they're very juicy. Um, there's a tart sweetness to it. If you like seeds, then you'll definitely love the pomegranate fruit. So what you're going to need is a bowl. Um, fill it up with half water, halfway with water, something to score the fruit with. You want to score the outer skin with um, a knife, something that will cut into it. Also, you're going to need like a colander or even a um, um, something that you can strain, strain the water or strain the water with or to pull some of the, um, the skin and the flesh away from it. So without further ado, let's move on into peeling this fruit. So what you're going to need to do is score the fruit all around. Don't cut deeply into the fruit itself. Um, once you've scored it or scored the fruit around, you want to peel away just breaking it away and the skin will give it's very tough initially but as you apply more pressure to peel it away you'll be able to pop a portion of the fruit away from the body of it when you're releasing the arrows from that membrane the white portion be very gentle because the arrows will burst they're that sensitive um, but what I like to do is keep the fruit submerged in water sort of and just peel away the arrows and that kind of helps with um, getting the arrows released from the membrane if you remember the um, the pomegranate fruit is a, a, a biblical fruit and so we love to remember that the children of Israel God's chosen people um, this fruit helped them to remember the number of laws that God gave to Moses on Mount Sinai. And it's just a little biblical trivia for you. If you remember the number of laws, some say that the number of arrows within a pomegranate also matches the number of laws that was given. But that's just a little bit, uh, biblical trivia for you. You can use your strainer, depending on the size of it. You can use the strainer to help pull some of the um, particles that float to the top. Like some of the membrane is very light. It, it's not that dense, so it won't um, sink to the bottom. But the arrows are. And you'll notice that the arrows will have a tendency to sit at the very bottom of your bowl. And that's fine. Once you've finished peeling the pomegranate and you're satisfied with all the arrows that you've um, accumulated, you can strain the liquid from the arrows or try to pour them out and then take a sheet pan like a cookie sheet pan and spread the arrows out over the sheet pan and then just pop it in the freezer for a few hours and then you'll have nice cool crisp arrows that you can use in baking, making drinks or smoothies you'll be very pleased with it. I hope this video was very, very beneficial to you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, God bless you and have a great day.